This is Puppets by Arlie. I'm Arlie, and this is how you string a barbell trick marionette. So here's the puppet we're going to be stringing today. The control has two detachable rods on it. It's a double airplane control with uh, a rod for the legs and a rod for the arms, which are going to be strung through this imaginary cartoonish barbell. And it has holes all through it so that the strings can slide through the barbell for our little weightlifter circus cat. Let's get started. First, we'll start off with the head strings, putting our head strings through the loops. I have two pieces of um, fishing line. I usually do about five granny knots. So now we got our head strings on. I'm gonna take my airplane control and I'm going to put the head strings on the middle bar for the head strings. And as you can see here, it's a slit and then two notches. So you're gonna thread it through the slit first and then wind it in a figure eight back and forth through knot, slit, knot, slit, knot, slit, knot, slit. Be sure you get your puppet so it's standing on the ground. Can you see here? Standing on the ground. Hold your control where you want it to be. And slide it in. Wound it around to the slit, the side, the slit, the side, the slit, the side. Make your control parallel. And slide in your other head string. And there we have it wound on to our head strings to get us started. Next, we're going to do the shoulder strings. Now, I have two eyelids underneath the costume here that I'm going to take a needle and thread through. So, get your first piece of fishing line. I like to use a curved needle. Thread it through. Find the screw eye. Make a stitch through. Tie it off with series of granny knots. We got one there. String the other shoulder. Find the eyelet. And go through the metal eyelet. Or I should say screw eye. I accidentally call them eyelets sometimes. They're screw eyes. It may look like I'm going through just the costume here, but I'm not. There's a there's a metal screw eye screwed in to the wooden body of the puppet, which I am feeling through the costume. We have our head strings. 
And sometimes it is a little tough to get the ratio between the head strings and the shoulder strings, but the shoulder strings need to carry the majority of the weight because it's, again, it's metal screw eyes into the wooden body. So it's a stronger hold than uh, my paper mache head that I have going here. So then take both your shoulder strings and string them both through your needle at the same time. Then I have a hole at the bottom of my marionette control that I'm going to put both shoulder strings up through with the needle. Be sure you come up from underneath. So I'm pulling through from underneath. Then a small thing I like to do is take your shoulder strings and tie a knot tie a small knot at the end of both your shoulder shoulder strings because then you can hold your control put your hand into the loop you've created with both your shoulder strings and that can really help you can pull either way to get them even put the puppet on the ground so the feet are down you can pull one way or the other way to get that shoulder tension even to the floor. And you know, it's possible your, your screw eyes may not be even. So this is a good way to balance it. And thread it into the slip and do your figure eight with both of your shoulder strings. Looped in. You get the very exciting, satisfying moment where you get to try looking your head from side to side for the first time and seeing how it works. It works pretty well. As I'm tilting my control, my little puppet is able to look side to side. Next is the legs. So the legs are going to be strung to the top bar of this double airplane control. Usually uh, with regular marionettes in this design, you'll have a clip for this top leg bar. But in this case, since you'll never not be using the trick strings for the barbell, I've attached the leg bar to the top of the control. So the legs will go in these two slots. And I have eyelets. Uh, whoops, I did it again. I have screw eyes on these legs. Let me give you a show you. At the top here. And what we're going to do, you can just Put uh, put a a a stitch through that screw eye and tie it like I did on the shoulders. But a nice little trick is to hide the knot on the front by tying the knot on the leg underneath and then stitching through the pants. So get your two strings for the legs and I will go through and put Duco on all of these knots to help hold them long term. Mm -hmm. But we'll do that at the end when we see if it's working or not. So the next step is we will thread it through the pants. Now, you don't want to thread through right where the pants come to the leg. You want to thread it about an inch above because if you don't do that, it will pull down on the pants and make 
a pucker when you're performing because the strings are ultimately oriented up. So you want to have an inch above the screw eye in order to keep that pucker, that little tug from happening. So first, take the pants down, see where you land with the pants. Okay, so my eyelet is about right there. My screw eye, I mean. And then that means that my my pants are gonna be, a, my, my string needs to go through up above. So same thing over here. Feel where the screw eye is, a little bit up above. Ooh, sorry, it's a yellow pin on gold fabric. That probably you can't see that very well. Then take out the pins where your screw eye is, and then these pins left will be where you string through. So get your needle threaded. And oops. Go through where your pin is. Be sure don't loop it up underneath your foot. All right, there's one. <clears throat> and the nice thing about this is it it's a nice clean string coming out of the pants. No messy knots are in the way visually. And I have, you know, I don't always use this pin technique. I've definitely eyeballed it before and it was fine. So it's not an exact science. Okay. Now we're ready to loop on to our leg bar. Next, we're going to loop our legs onto the rocking leg bar without puppet standing on the ground. How you want it to. And loop that first leg in. Be sure your control is even with the floor. And then you should be able to walk. By rocking your leg bar back and forth. Next, we got our back string. Our back string is so that the puppet can bow. And I have a metal screw eye on the pelvis piece right there. I can feel it. Find the screw eye, and then through the costume, thread the needle. And tie a knot. Then take your tail string, and you're going to thread it on top of all of your shoulder strings. So, pull it so that it is, it could be a little bit loose because this is a string that you activate once in a while. Make sure your puppet is on the ground. Good, fast, through. There we go. So, we have all of the strings strung up on the control. Now we move on to the trick strings. So, I have screw eyes that I've opened up to make hooks and then other screw eyes to hang these detachable bars. I have two lengths 
one is a little longer than the other and so I have two lengths here I have some outside holes and some inside holes and then so the outside holes will go on the hands because they are wider apart and then the inside holes will go on the legs because they're closer together so I guess that means that I am going to put my longer trick bar on the top part of my control and my shorter bar on the bottom part of my control and the top one will be for the hands and the bottom one will be for the legs so let's do hands first. I have, now I did paint these, so sometimes there's holes drilled in them, but sometimes you gotta get in there and get the paint out of the way of the holes. So take, a, take an awl and make sure those are accessible. Now this here is a doll making needle. It's extra long. It's good for stringing. We're going to begin by putting uh, the string down through the, the palm of the hand and back up again. Now, since my, my gimmick here is circus cats, you know, I have a little, a little paw here. So string it up, pull it down and back through. And tie it. Let's do the other one. And I said I was going to do the longer one, so we'll save that for later. This is the longer one here. Get it threaded through my doll making needle. and tie it off our hands are going to be the farthest downstage strings so we're going to string them through the two outside holes of my trick barbell so string on to the doll making needle, outside hole, Oops. and then string through one side, oop, no, that was the short one, I wanted the long one, hi, yeah, yeah. okay. Then string to one side of your control. So I got the barbell and I got the control all strung on. And then repeat that on the other side through the hand. So be sure to go underneath the barbell, same orient, oriented angle as your other string. And same thing here. Next, we're going to go figure out with standing what the correct length to tie these off at.
All right, now we figure out where to tie off on this barbell. So, good luck. First, hook it on. Whoops, be sure your strings are in front. Okay. And when it's on the control, it needs to be not activated. I have some dog clips here and I will put these on to try to keep from losing these strings while I'm stringing. Bring it down so he or she, maybe it's a she. Should be a she, geez. Has her arms down when you're standing, but not performing. So it'll be loose enough so that when the puppet is standing and my control is hanging, that the barbell will be resting on the floor. So with this, start off by making kind of a temporary knot. I do the start of a granny knot, but wrap it over four times. And then that will kind of hold without being a real knot, but you can adjust it during this period because this isn't like our figure eight looping. And I'm back, standing on the floor. The barbell will be resting on the floor. Looks like it's about there. Do the temporary knot of the start of a granny knot, except wrapping it four times. Show you all my temporary knot it's just a wrap of four times all right let's tie it off just do one or two knots so that you can take them out if it really doesn't work excellent so then we take it off and we can lift and then we can reach over okay All right, aha. And then that is like a difficult lift. Oh, no. And take it back. Okay. Well, put a few more knots on this and then we'll move on to the extra trick leg. We got to do the feet. So, the, the toe, maybe I should say the trick toe bar. I have screw eyes coming out of the toe of this puppet. And I have my shorter leg bar, or I should, I, I, it's not a leg bar, it's a trick toe bar. And it's shorter, so... And it won't be used as much. It'll be like a finale type of thing. So it's going to be on the lower part of the control, usually where you put your running hand string. And yeah. Oh, and it should go through these inside, these inside holes. Now be sure, see my... Be sure that you don't have your feet, be sure that your foot is going, or your toe is going through the bottom the same direction as your hands are going through. Otherwise that'll cause tangling, more tangling than normal. Okay, let's start out. Let's thread these in to the toe. And this should make it so that 
she, I'm calling her a she now, she can spin this barbell on her feet and go back and forth a lot like a juggler. I did a stringing video on how to string a juggling marionette. Be sure to check it out if you're interested in finding out how to string trick marionettes. And more power to you if you are. Hope this is long enough. Well, <clears throat> famous last words. This this is kind of a like a trick that I've seen uh, like a weightlifting type characters. I just did a clown for mine, but you can do like a cute strong man type of character for this this trick marionette. I've also seen someone rig up uh, this style of trick marionette and then had the marionette with bubbles. And then as they move around, the marionette was uh, creating bubbles. It's a real cute idea. Okay, so I got one leg. I'm going to... Same direction as my hands. And then lastly, through my control bar. Okay. Do that same thing on the other side. Doll making needle, always. Always a good tool to have when you've decided to partake on this puppetry journey. Okay. Now we'll stand up and string. Okay, here we go. I got a dog clip on to hold this while we're doing this. All right. Looks like I will want it to be in front of my regular leg bar. Um, but it need it will be able to go both through my wider arm bar. And let's see. So my dog clip is hanging down. Let's try this. Looks like I need to be careful because it does pull on the toe strings a little bit, of course, because they have to go through. So there needs to be enough slack in those toe strings that when the arm is up, that there's no toe string activity. Because these are trick strings used only once in a while. And then when I do this, sit her down. Or, and also just one leg, too. Okay. Do your temporary four looped granny knot starter temporary knot thing. That is a technical term. We're going to do the other side. We're going to make it kind of even to the other one. And looks like I can do full arms up without the toes doing anything. So I'm going to call that a success. And now let's tie off those toes. And on the other side. This probably looks like total chaos. Here are my toes. To do this upside down stuff. And we can even do isolate one. 
And then here is my regular hand strings for regular lifting and twirling. And I, yeah, yeah, I need to be careful not to loop it around my leg string. So this, everyone figures out that puppets have one thing that they do well and they have ways of tangling. So that must be that one. Do not be careful not to loop the barbell under my leg strings. Okay, I'll never do it. <laughs> All puppets take some practicing, of course, to, uh, to figure out what they do well, where, where their problem spots are. And uh, that's just part of puppeteering. Now, if you have endless resources and can design the perfect puppet, you know, you build something over and over again, then you can get a good, really good puppet. But you know, that doesn't happen very often where you find just a flawless, flawless puppet. And uh, it seems to be part of puppetry to figure out how you perform these objects uh, with, with their flaws. I'm sure there's someone watching right now that's just like screaming at, at that philosophy. That's okay, you can go ahead and scream. We are, we are all strung up, yo. Last step, go through and put Duco cement on all the knots. This is really great because you can still untie knots with this glue on it, but it also holds, it also helps hold. Also, you'll put gaff tape on each one of the figure eight wraps. And don't forget to get the knot underneath the pants and put five little pieces of gaff tape on the head strings, the leg strings. To hold them in place. All right, got my gaff tape on and we are ready to go. And there you have it. That's how to string a barbell trick marionette. Thanks for watching.